President Bola Ahmed Tinibu begs FBI, CIA, other U.S. agencies not to release his record and also move with his lawyers to stop them from doing that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you're watching this video from. And the time you're going to see this video. I remember my humble self, the Ike man. If you are coming across my page and my channel for the first time, I would like you to share my videos. Give the video a thumbs up and try to drop your comments at the comment section. And remember to follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, you can also send stars to support what I'm doing. The way the, the Chicago State is releasing records these days, even I say very soon, they will start re releasing all the records of Nigerians waiting for their their own custody. Hope say you where they listen to this news right now. Where the word is video. Hope say your own record they clear. <laughs> because very soon they then go start to release all the records where they for their custody. Make sure that your own they clear. As we go deep into this particular news, let me say something. This was exactly what happened when the court gave order for Chicago State University to release the academic record of our president, Mr. Tinibu. At the point, he also filed a case to stop the school from releasing the record. And we Nigeria, we started asking, what are you really hiding? What is really happening? And after everything, that particular record was released and we saw everything. And we really saw the reason why they wanted to stop them from releasing such a record. We all can, can remember that a few months ago that a news came up that FBI in the United States said that they will release all the records in their custody by ending of October. I remember this October is coming to an end very soon. And they are set to release the record. And the news now that is breaking is that the president has also moved to stop them, begs them to stop from releasing his record. We don't know the reason why such a thing is repeating itself again. Let's dig deep into this news and get the full gist. As we're doing that, try to share it, like it, and drop your comment at the comment section. President Bola Tinibu has moved to block records relating to him from being disclosed by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Central Intelligence Agency, and other United States agencies, according to a People's Gadget report. It was reported in September that from October, the FBI would start releasing approximately 2,500 documents relating to President Tinibu in its database. According to the Gazette, Christopher Kamekel, one of the lawyers who represented Mr. Tinibu in the recent academic record case, filed motion to appear, to appear in an ongoing freedom of information action brought against the U.S. organization, we are records that may help answer questions about president's real identity and decade long endeavor are domiciled. The lawyer brought his motion in accordance with civil local rule 83.2 C. People Gadgets report that Mr. Brown A was practiced in DS said on Mr. Carmichael's belief, this motion is supported by the declaration of Christopher, as set forth in Mr. Michael's declaration. He is admitted and an active member in one standing. Mr. Carmichael did not respond immediately to a request for comment, and the president-led lawyer in the United States Luwale Afalabi told the Gazette that he could not comment on the matter until it had formally begun. The lawyers would work in to file a thorough argument as soon as possible in order to argue any relief before the October 31st deadline. The FBI had said it was planning to release the record before the end of October to Aaron Greenspan, the proprietor of Pansite, a website that push anti-corruption and transparency in public service. Several other U.S. institutions, including the U.S. State Department, 
Internal Revenue Service and the Enforcement Administration have an indicated readiness to turn over the thousands of pages of record related to Tinibu. President Tinibu recently lost an emergency appeal to the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago to stop Chicago State from releasing his academic record to Atiku Abubakar, his opponent in the 2023 presidential election. In ruling, in her ruling on Tinibu's emergency application in the case number 23 CV 05099, Judge Nancy L. McDonald overruled President Tinibu's objection to Magistrate Judge Gibbard recommending the commended ruling and therefore adopts the ruling in full. It's reported on September 23rd that Tinibu appealed against the ruling of Judge Jeffrey Gibbard sitting at the sitting at the United States District Court of Northern Illinois, which ordered the Chicago State University to release all relevant records pertaining to him to Nigerian former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. It had reported now the federal court in Chicago, while ruling on the civil case filed by Atiku, granted the applicant's request to the court, stating that the former Vice President had been able to sufficiently satisfy the purpose for seeking the record. Tinibu subsequently pleaded with Judge Nancy to block all other details, especially the gender and admission record, among others, of the owner of the certificate. It has reported that Atiku brought the case before the court in an effort to establish that Tinibu was not eligible to be Nigerian president despite his election in February 2023 and that he tendered a Uruuru certificate to the in Independent National Electoral Commission. INEC had declared Tinibu as the winner of the election, saying Atiku of the People Democratic Party came second and Peter Obi of the Labour Party came third. In the judgment obtained by Sarah Reporters, Justice Madonna ruled for the foregoing reasons the court overruled President Tinibu's objection to Magistrate George Gibbard recommended ruling and therefore adopted the ruling in full. Mr. Apobaka's application is therefore granted in light of the pending Supreme Court of Nigeria D-Line, represented to the court as October 5, 2023, and based on CSU representation that it is ready to comply with the discovery request and produce a witness. The court set an expedite schedule for completion of discovery. Justice McDonald therefore directed CSU to produce all relevant and non-privileged documents in response to requests for production numbers 1 through 4, as narrowed by Judge Gibbard and adopted here. In Mr. Abubakar's subpoena, by 12 o'clock p.m. CDT on Monday, October 2, 2023, the rule 30BC disposition of CSU corporate designer must be completed by 5 p.m. CDT on Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Given the October 5th, 2023 filing deadline before the Supreme Court of Nigeria, the court will not extend or modify this deadline, she added. The ruling titled Morandum Opinion and Orders also read, Atiku Abubakar initiated this action pursuant to 28 USC 1782, a federal statute that allow a federal district court to order a person or entity within the district to produce document to testimony for use in a foreign legal proceeding. Mr. Abubakar is a former vice president of Nigeria and was a candidate for president in Nigeria February 2023 presidential election. Mr. Abubakar seek an order under 28 USC 1782 directing Chicago State University, which is located in this district, to produce certain documents and testimony related to Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the declared winner of February 2023 presidential election. Mr. Abubakar has challenged the validity of President Tinibu election in Nigerian court on a number of grounds, including a claim that President Tinibu submitted a Wahala 
diploma to the Nigeria Independent National Electoral Commission, INE, stating that he graduated from CSU. Mr. Abubakar contend the submission which have disqualified President Tinibu from participating in the election and he therefore seek record and testimony from CSU related to President Tinibu's diploma and his graduation from CSU to support Mr. Abubakar's challenge to the election results. There is one thing here I want to mention. Some of us have been saying that the Supreme Court may not accept any other evidence. I will also want to bring your notice here that the main reason this Chicago State University District Court asked Chicago State University to release the record of Mr. Tinibu to Atiku is because Atiku want to use it in the Supreme Court of Nigeria, which is a foreign court, according to them. If after everything, the Supreme Court said that they will not accept any fresh evidence. I don't know the technicality they are going to use to do that because in every decision they take in court, they will tell you it's out of technicality. And this technicality, I don't know where it is found in. I stand to be corrected. If you are a lawyer, I think I want to ask a question. When does technicality comes into a case and what is the work of technicality in, in a case does technicality bring out the full story of a case or does technicality cover the truth and then decide what's best to, to them because this technicality of a thing has never done nigeria any good example is Emo state till today, all of us know that. Thank you very much, guys. I remember my humble self, the like man. If you are watching the video to this end, try to like it, share it, drop a comment at the comment section, and follow me if you are not following me. Remember that you guys rock. I remember my humble self, the like man. We move regardless.